Every single color I have here except for the one that I need. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. My name is Delina, and before we get started, go ahead and hit subscribe and turn on your notifications so every time I create a video, you are notified and you get to come over here and see what I'm making, what I'm what I'm cooking up in this kitchen. It's Valentine's Day. Well, it'll be Valentine's Day very soon. So I'm gonna talk to you about Valentine's Day as I do my makeup. So let's start out with this Bobbi Brown eye cream. This is the Vitamin Enrich Eye Base. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this on my hand and we're just gonna put this underneath my eye and just kind of work back and forth. This is a primer. I'm applying underneath the eye and kind of around the eye as well. Just wanna make sure we put a good amount on the eye. So when it comes to Valentine's Day, I always am in the middle of deciding if I'm gonna do something or not do something. This is the Vitamin Enrich Face Base. This is by Bobbi Brown. I'm always thinking like, am I gonna do something? Am I not gonna do something? Will I be invited to something? <laughs> is it even my choice <laughs> or am I pretending like it is? Valentine's Day is one of those tricky holidays. Like. I feel like it's made for you and like your lover or you and like your boo, right? And it's like, if you don't have a boo, you're like, can I celebrate this holiday? So then Valentine's Day came around, which I'm sure a lot of you all have participated in over the years. I'm gonna grab my mirror so I can really see what I'm doing. Lip Bar has this beautiful concealer. This is in the color four o'clock. So we're just gonna put this underneath the eye and then a little in the center of the forehead and then just kind of around the mouth. I'm trying to keep it light here. So I was trying to come up with a fictional place that I was going to go because your girl actually does not have any plans. So I'm not going to fake the fuck and just try and pretend like I do. Because why? Right? Like, we got to be honest with each other. Like, what kind of relationship do we have if I just sit here and pretend like I have plans and I have none? If I was going somewhere, where would I be going? <laughs> Let me think about this. This is the Lemons Foundation. I've been using this a lot lately, so I figured I'd use it again today. This I put in the palm of my hand, and then I'm gonna take the Oil Balance Booster, is what they call it. And we're just gonna add a little bit of that and mix it into my hand. Boom, so we got two products right there. And I'm just gonna mix them together. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this foundation. It's very, very, very full coverage, so I don't really need a lot. I probably actually used way too much story of my life. This is a boss brush. This is by this really cool makeup artist. She's actually based here in New York. She goes by boss, but I'm going to add coverage using this. I've been eating all the things. I decided to go high raw vegan for a month. And so some of the things that I was craving were like pizza, ate that pasta, ate that. Anyways, I knew I was going to break out, but I was just like, I don't care. Sometimes you got to just do it. Life is about balance. So Valentine's Day, let's get back to it. What are we doing for Valentine's Day? Well, I don't have any plans. Uh, we're in the middle of COVID right now, so <laughs> plans are non-existent, <laughs> which kind of sucks, but you know, such is life. This is our new normal. So I'm just kind of getting used to it. And But I will say this, it has been hard in these holidays. It has been hard. Like I did not expect to feel the way that I feel. I just didn't expect the holiday season to be without family. We got through the major ones, Christmas and New Year's and, and Thanksgiving. So Valentine's Day doesn't feel as crazy for me. This is number five concealer by uh, Lip Bar. And I'm just gonna use this to help contour my face. So I'm gonna put this just down the sides of the face and then the sides of the nose. Got a good contour going. I like my nose to feel snatched, but like not too narrow. Cause I feel like it's already narrow. I don't need it to be too narrow. This is another brush by Boss Cosmetics. And I'm just gonna take this and just start to work the forehead color into the forehead. And we're gonna start to pat it down. Yes. And we're gonna just work this up. I always like to work this up versus working this down because it kind of lifts the cheek versus if you work it down, it kind of like makes the the cut that you created, like this like chisel moment that you created, it goes down. Put a little Lucas Paw Paw. This is a amazing uh, lip balm. Per usual, my lips are dry. I have a lot of texture underneath me, my eyes. I've always had that. And so uh, one thing I really like to do is I like to try and not put too much product underneath the eye. And this helps make everything appear smoother because the more product you have, the more cakey it can become. 
So I like to put it down here versus bringing it all the way up. Let's take a flat brush and we're just gonna work it back and forth. So we're gonna take this and we're just gonna start to place the color here and we're just gonna work it back and forth. So when it comes to Valentine's Day, I've always liked it as a holiday. I, I feel like I love an I the idea of celebrating love. And I know that it doesn't have to always be for like your significant other. Like my mom when I was younger used to be like, it's Valentine's Day, celebrate with the people you love. She's like, I'm celebrating you, you know, you're my Valentine. So I was taught at a very young age that Valentine's Day was not just about significant others. I'm gonna take a little bit of this Bobbi Brown corrector. This is in deep peach. And I'm just gonna take this and just tap it right underneath the eye. I used to use it with a brush, but I really like applying it with my finger. It helps brighten, but I feel like it needs to be warmed up. And this is made by Bobbi Brown. One of my favorite companies for complexion. So let's take a little bit of Derma Blend. Tap, tap, tap. Put it underneath the eye. Just keep pressing it underneath the eye. We don't have that much product underneath the eye, so you're gonna see like the texture is just gonna kind of diminish. Any place you have texture, like I'm telling you, I have a lot of texture underneath my, my eyes. But if you have texture in other areas of your face, I say go matte in those areas versus going shiny or sparkly. So what do I think is important when it comes to the, the holiday? Well, I think it's important to celebrate love as a whole, right? It becomes really easy to celebrate what we have, right? When I have that thing, I'll be happy. When I have this, I'll be happy. But what about being happy before you actually get to the place that you, you know, feel like is the accomplished space that you may have always wanted? You know what I mean? Like, what about being happy before you get there? I don't think there's a problem with like having like a real conversation with yourself and saying, okay, like, this thing is not happening yet. It doesn't mean that I can't celebrate myself or love or the love that I want to have from a significant other in the future, right? So this is a really beautiful color from Danessa Myricks. I'm gonna take Venus and I'm gonna put it all over the eye. This is a beautiful, beautiful sparkly moment. And I wanted to do something that was light and fun that you could wear to like your girlfriend's place, but like not feel like you were doing too much. You know what I mean? Like she wouldn't be like, oh girl, you came over here with a whole cut crease. And you'd be like, girl, this is just a little something, a little light something, something for you. You know, I'm not trying to outdo you at your own residence. Take it, just kind of go back and forth into the crease and then kind of up into the brow. You see how it's like mostly on the lid. I want to apply just a little bit more. We're going to put a gloss on top of this and I think it's going to look really beautiful, but I think it'll look even more beautiful the more concentrated this color is. And another fun thing about this kind of color, this glitter, is that it's going to look like a couple different colors as you turn. So it's like an interesting moment. The first one is Color Fix Foils. It's a liquid glitter. The second one we're gonna do is a Color Fix Glaze. So this is for the lip, cheek, and eye. And I'm just gonna take this and put this on the back of my hand. And this also has a little bit of like a glitter and a shine moment. The way that I see Danessa always do this, whenever she does her stuff, is she kind of takes a big glob of it and just puts it on, so that's how I'm gonna do it. So it's gonna give it us a nice gloss moment, which feels really cool and very fun and very like otherworldly in a way. Let's take this and apply it on the lid on the other side. When you're applying the gloss, apply it in the center of the lid and work upward instead of applying it to the bottom of the lid and working downward. This feels very healthy. This feels very beautiful. It feels very soft. It feels very much in my world. Before we finish doing the eyes, I just kind of want to see how this gloss is going to settle. I want to start by adding a little color to the eyebrow. So something I've been doing a little bit recently is I've been taking a powder and just putting it through the eyebrows. And what this does is like, it helps to give the eyebrow something to stick to. So we're just gonna take this and boom. Apply it into the eyebrow. This I feel like is a game changer because you know when you turn to the side and your eyebrows just kind of disappear, it's like such a disaster. So let's put this brow together. This is the Mon Brow Pencil. It actually, only, they only have one color. This is blackest brown. So you just take it and fill in the brow and then just start to comb up the eyebrow hair. That's like my favorite way to do a brow is just to like start to sketch it and then comb, always comb up. Comb that brow hair up, baby. As you know, I love the Simon Cosmetics Earth Deep Powder. So we're gonna take her and we're gonna just start to sculpt the face a little bit. Valentine's Day is cool. 
sometimes it feels like it turns into like a we don't need boys conversation and i'm just like but i like i like hanging out with guys can we like not have a man hating session today you know what i mean can we celebrate ourselves without dragging anyone else down it depends on the girls not saying it always turns into that but sometimes it does and i just don't necessarily want to be around that let's take a little bit of bite beauty's tan one powder this is a beautiful powder this is a bobby brown brush i'm gonna take this and just kind of start to mix this powder into the face it'll help give us a nice like even glow i also want to add a little something to the cheek this is by tower 28 it's called happy hour i like this cream blush because you can apply it with your hands and it's it's also kind of pink so i'm going to take this and just kind of put it on the cheek we're going to do a little bit of eyeliner straight out of patience we're going to put this right underneath or right in the waterline a little bit underneath as well but just right on the waterline and see how it like automatically adds this like beautiful drama to the eye and put it on the other side as well how dramatic do we want to go with this eye because i definitely want it to still feel lifted but i want it to feel defined as well i'm just going to work this back and forth just to kind of smoke this out this is like a a really really thin brush by using this liner brush we are smudging out the waterline which is really nice because it makes this look feel a little bit more lived in, which is nice. It doesn't feel as perfect. We're gonna have a little bit of a lash moment. I'm gonna take these, this lash curler and we're gonna curl my lashes. This is the Shoe Amora Lash Curler. And take it and press and hold and let go. Same thing on the other side. We're gonna take it and press and hold and let go. It's perfect. And we're gonna take Climax Mascara and we're gonna keep adding Climax Mascara to the lashes. Just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Now we're gonna do a little bit of lip liner. Line the lips. This is chestnut lip liner. It's just a Tiana Taylor collection, so it just looks like something else. But it's not. On the bottom here. I made my lips look a little bit bigger, as I'm sure you've noticed. <laughs> NARS pencil. This is in Promiscuous. And we're just gonna take her back and forth on the lip. And gonna give us a little bit of a pink moment when it comes to Valentine's Day I truly don't know what I plan on doing I don't have a, a plan but I think that the most important thing to remember is to do something with I'm gonna add another coat of mascara is the most important thing to do is to celebrate you and to celebrate love and I think that that's important self-love is important too it's a beautiful reset a moment to appreciate yourself and you know that's what life's all about is appreciating yourself loving on yourself spending time with yourself doing makeup for you not for anyone else that is around you get dressed take pictures of yourself or chill on the couch and do netflix and chill or hang out with your bae get dressed up for a thing at home at the end of the day i feel like you know if you're safe you're home you're with loved ones it's something to celebrate this year has been a lot for a lot of people so you know celebrating the fact that we're alive, you know, we're healthy, we're happy. It's a beautiful thing, truly. So I want you to celebrate you. I'm celebrating you right now by doing this with you. I hope you enjoyed this look. I hope this is something really fun, something that you feel like you could do. Makeup is 100%, I've realized, especially this year, it's so funny, I was like scrolling through pictures. I realized that like the makeup that I do a lot of times is actually more for me than it is for anyone else. Like. Whenever I do my own makeup, I feel better about life. I feel more like I can accomplish things, like I can do things. I feel ready for the world. I feel like ready to take things on. And it's a, it's a form of expression, whether you decide to do a fun, sparkly, glossy eye like this, or you want to do something really neutral and simple. Or if you're just like, you know what, I just want to do a face mask today. And like, it's a form of loving on yourself and taking care of yourself. And I just want us to dive even deeper into that space. So thank you for hanging out with me. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope yours is so special and I'll talk to you later. Bye.